How is it everybody? Brada Kimo here from Reload Hawaii and thank you for watching another video. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. You might want to consider clicking that subscribe button down at the bottom because tonight we're talking about the dirty secrets of the cell phone industry that I've been working in for the past 10 years. And I guarantee you by the ending of this three-part series on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, you will never be misled by another television ad or a sketchy, sketchy salesperson. So let's get to it. Alrighty then. Each of these four numbers here represents how much each carrier is worth on the stock market as of February 14th, 2017. Now these numbers are important because it is a direct reflection on how much each carrier can put back into their network growth, coverage, speed, and reliability, all right? So we got AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon somewhere in this mix. So assuming that all of these carriers are about the same price, which we're gonna see on Friday, they're kind of the same pricing, which one of these networks would you want to be on? Let me ask you three questions. Question number one, let's say you're in a situation where crap hits the fan. A tornado has come through, hurricane, earthquake, something bad is going on. Maybe you're stuck in the desert. Maybe you have a loved one that's in a different state and you can see that that natural disaster is coming through. Which one of these networks do you think is going to be able to support you and give you the best service in that situation? Question number two, which one of these networks do you want the person that's coming to rescue you to be on? So yeah, that includes like police, firemen, whoever, your auntie or your uncle. Which one of these networks do you want the person that's coming to rescue you to be on? And lastly, let's say you're a business person. Which one of these carriers do you think is going to give you the best service and support to broadcast all of your important information to your clients? Let's say, for example, something big that everybody watches, like the NFL or the NBA. You know, so you're going to pick who you're going to pick. You can decide however you're going to spend your money. But when you're looking at this, you definitely probably don't want to be on this network down here. This is less than most people make in an hour at work. And I don't care if it's McDonald's or Taco Bell. That's pretty bad. So your options are on these three guys. And you're kind of thinking, well, maybe I want to be on this network because it's worth the most money. However, we're going to see in just a little bit, that's not the case. Okay, what we got going on here are years, 2013, 10, 11, and 12. These dates are very significant because they represent what year each carrier decided to launch their LTE network. And this is just basic math, guys. The earlier you get into the game, the larger your network is going to be. So you can see here, this network started in 2010. And even though this network is now worth the most, it started in 2013. That's three years and back of this carrier. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna uncover these two and then wrap everything up, and then we'll talk about unlimited data very briefly. Okay guys, here it is. This is your guide to the cell phone industry right here. So let's take Sprint for example, claiming that they're within 1% of Verizon's network reliability. I don't even know what the hell that means, but just do me this favor if you have Sprint. You walk into a Sprint store and say, hey, can you please show me a comparisons map between Verizon's LTE versus Sprint's LTE network and put them side by side. I guarantee you this network is a bazillion times bigger than that one. Then once they fail there, ask them, hey, Sprint, can you tell me about your 5G plans? They're not going to have one. 5G is on the horizon for Verizon network. So that's why this is important to understand what all of this means. At $9.07 and starting two years behind Verizon Wireless, they're, gonna, they're not going to be anywhere near that. Now let's throw our attention up here to T-Mobile because they really should be congratulated in running a very excellent marketing campaign because it has boosted them from when I started tracking them from $15 all the way up to $61.60. Now that's a new thing for them. They've just come into this money. I think it was the beginning part of 2016, February-ish. Uh, and that climb has been escalating since 2013, 14, and 15. They've gone from 16 to 20 to 30, all the way up to $61.60. That's absolutely amazing. So you're going to be like, well, I thought you said the more money a carrier has, the better it is because they can put that money back into the network. Yes, that is important, but it also matters when they came into that money. Verizon Wireless and AT&T have always been pretty profitable, and they've been doing it since 2010 and 2011. And as a result, they're one and two because they've had that time to build out that LTE network pretty well. And as you can see here, 2010, the 5G network for Verizon is pretty much on the horizon. So great for T-Mobile that they're doing well, but because Verizon Wireless has now gotten into the unlimited game again, you're gonna see this number drop by a bunch. Well, that's all I gotta say about this chart. I recommend that you guys just take a picture of it so you guys can guide yourself uh, through the, the waters of the cell phone industry. Let's talk about that unlimited data. 
Okay, let's start off with who actually needs unlimited data, and the answer to that is very little. I would say about 5% of the people I helped out really need unlimited data. Now, why is that? Well, you figure the average person has a job where they go to school nine hours a day, then after that, they go straight home to a Wi-Fi network. And that's the key. If you don't have a reliable Wi-Fi network or a wired solution, then you're gonna rely very heavily on your network and whatever device you're accessing it through. So people like truck drivers on the mainland that go from east coast to west coast, soldiers that live in the barracks, students that live in the dormitories, security guards that have a lot of downtime when they're walking around. That's the very small 5% that I'm talking about that really need unlimited data. And right now, it doesn't really matter because every carrier offers unlimited data and they've adjusted their price plans accordingly. So what's the big deal about unlimited internet? You know, the first thing is these carriers have done a really good job in confusing the hell out of people on how much data you actually use. If you look at your bill, it's not reported in gigs, it's in kilobits or megabits or bytes. I don't know, the one of them moves, one of them doesn't. But it just makes your bill look crazy. So that's the first thing is it created a lot of urgency in wanting unlimited data. Now, the other two reasons I can think of is this. Number one, it's not very exciting, but it's just a natural evolution for every carrier to offer unlimited data. That's just the way it's going to go. If you think about minutes back in the day, minutes are metered. And then after that, text messaging. Text messaging was metered. But as these networks started to improve their reliability and coverage, they became unlimited. So the natural evolution of things as everybody improves is data is gonna become unlimited. And honestly, when Verizon launches its 5G network very soon, all of those little petty limitations that we're gonna see on Friday, they're gonna go away. And that's gonna be important for the second reason, which is content. So currently Verizon Wireless has the exclusive deals to stream NFL and NBA. And honestly, really think about this. If you're the NFL and the NBA, do you want exclusively for these guys to stream your content? Do you want to rely on a $9.07 network that was built two years after this to stream the Super Bowl to all of your clients? No, you don't. You don't even want it on a network that was built three years after these guys. You're going to want a network that's the most complete and has demonstrated that they have what it takes to give the fastest and most reliable network first, which is going to be Verizon. So as content starts climbing and getting better, like these guys have shown with the NFL and the NBA, it's going to be continuously important for every network to have unlimited data. And we're just going to have to see who offers what, but I can guarantee you this, with Verizon's pull and how much they have invested into their network, and with them offering unlimited data now, here's what I think is going to happen. Here's my crystal ball. Their unlimited data is going to cause this to drop significantly because I already know there's a lot of unhappy T-Mobile customers uh, that talk about in-building penetration, like how your network is going to perform indoors. So this number is going to drop because these guys are now offering unlimited data. These guys will continue to suffer. These guys are going to continue to be at second place, unfortunately. So it's going to be up to you where you guys decide to put your money. If it were me, I would go Verizon Wireless. I stay away from Sprint. I keep an eye on these guys. This is going to be an interesting dynamic between these two uh, since Verizon has started offering unlimited data. Guys, that's the ending of the video. So I hope you found it useful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. And as always, I will catch you later.